and I was going to check in my luggage and the woman that I met there, she asked me, where am I from? I said, Nigeria. And immediately she was like, oh, that I that hope I'm not here to come and <laughs> steal or something, you know, that Nigerians are known for, for frost that, that kind of yeah. thing. And yeah. come on, like that really just brought my mood down because yeah. I was kind of happy that I was in a different country, but then that was it was a- zero for Romania. So and that was my first impression. So guys, welcome back to our channel, to my channel, and our channel as well. And my name is Dr. Ayokunle Omoni, and um, Dima is back again with us. Dima, introduce yourself. My name is Dima. I think all of you already know me. Yeah. I'm a medical student in my third I'm studying, currently yeah. studying in Romania. Romania, okay. And today we are going to be talking about being Black in Romania. A warning, right? It's a personal experience. But, <laughs> so, yeah. so my experience might be your experience might be different from our own experience, mm-hmm. from strictly our own experience. Dima, can you tell us what's your first impression about the Romanian people when you got to Romania? The first Romanian you came across. What was your <laughs> impression? First minute, yeah. Okay. And okay. like the first impression I had about Romanian, the first was not even a so good one because mm. like I said, um, when I got to the airport and I needed to change my flight to get onto the next flight because I landed in the, in the capital and I wasn't studying in the capital. That was in Bucharest, so, right? Yeah, I, capital is Bucharest and I was, and I'm studying rather currently, I'm studying in Aradia. Okay. Then there to get another flight to Aradia and I was going to check in my luggage and the woman that I met there, she asked me, where am I from? I said Nigeria. And immediately she was like, Oh, that I that hope I'm not here to come and <laughs> steal or something, you know. That Nigerians are known for for frost that, that kind of yeah. thing. And yeah. come on, like that really just brought my mood down. Because yeah. I was kind of happy that I was in a different country, but then that it was, was zero for Romania. So and that was my first impression. And just so we know, I don't hate Romanians and neither I've met nice people, so I'm just yeah. sharing my experience. Yeah. So yeah. that's the reason why I give them a little bit of a disclaimer. Yeah. Well. yeah. And immediately you realize, oh, hold on a minute. This is not what I bargained for, right? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. And when you got to Romania properly, like when you left the airport, um, what was what was your impression like the next person you saw the next Romanian probably a taxi driver now right so what was the how warm is the taxi driver i would say i did not have any conversation with the taxi driver because mm-hmm. a friend came to pick me up so i did not even care about them okay. i did not have any conversation so mm-hmm. i don't have anything to say about the taxi driver yeah. but when i moved into the hostel and we had to share rooms with the girls Mm-hmm. And I had like um, two Romanian roommates. Okay. One was already there, mm-hmm. and I think the other one traveled because I came during the holiday period. Yeah. So she was very nice. She was very nice. She was like, "Oh, welcome. Where are you from? Nigeria?" Like, "Oh, I watch a lot of Nigerian things." I was like, "Oh, that's nice." Mm-hmm. And she was so nice to me. I would not lie. Yeah. So yeah. I think that really just made me feel very comfortable. Yeah. So I didn't even care about what the other person did. Yeah. But kind when the other person came, yeah. Yeah, when the other person came back, because mm-hmm. I told you I came back, I came in a holiday. So when the other person came back, she was like, Oh, that she has a new roommate. Like she wasn't so happy that she had the new roommate, and it was a black person. Oh, so, it okay. with, <laughs> so she was like, Oh, she like she said throwing tantrums that the room is dirty. Oh. Like the room wasn't even dirty to be sincere. So she told the woman that she doesn't want to stay in our room anymore, that she wants to move out. Wow. And I was like, wow. Okay. Yeah, there were two Romanians, like I said. Yeah, one was yeah. okay, and the other one was... That sums up, like, Romanian people. Some would be nice to you, and some not... Yeah, so. some some would just be rude to you. And I don't yeah. know why, but <laughs> believe me, they are nice ones. They are really, really nice ones. I've met the best of them, and I would say, mm. like, they are nice. Okay. If you meet the nice ones. But some, just like, Every country has crazy yeah, people. Yeah. In Nigeria, we have mad people yeah. in Nigeria. Yeah. So, <laughs> so don't judge, don't judge, just yeah. don't judge, don't judge. Like that's what I would say. Just yeah. try to meet, try to know people before you say anything. Okay. 
and of course uh, how, how is it like going to the market i mean not even market in public place taking public transport uh, how is their reaction like when when they spot you as a black person yeah for me now i don't even notice anything and because yeah. i've stayed here for, for, for a very yeah. long time yeah. Yeah. you know but, but when i know you came in, the first couple of months yes the first time most of them don't want to share a seat with you especially wow. the old people they don't want to share a seat with you so if you're sitting they rather prefer they prefer to stand mm. and that was it initially but mm -hmm. now i don't really care and i don't even notice it when they do it now because i already yeah, got used to it yeah and i would say over time Romanian people they are becoming more exposed uh, you yeah. know with the whole ukrainian war and the rest of them you know they are becoming mm. more exposed so they're becoming nicer mm. that's what i would say because you cannot compare four years ago to now yeah. and you should also um just just so we know that there were less nigerians or black people mm in Romania as at that time. Yeah. So yeah. but now we have more more black people. So they're not used to seeing black people. That's what yeah. I would say. Uh, so generally, most times okay. I'm listening. Sorry, go ahead. Yeah, generally, um what demographic of the uh, Romanian people do you find more friendly? Is it the older generation or the younger ones? I would say the younger ones mm. because like we know most of like the younger ones are they are oh, they are more friendly because they are yeah. educated yeah. and you understand that black people exist exist yeah they watch you movies understand. on social media yes they understand so and when they see black people they just want to just hang around with them but the old people i think they still struggle with that thing that oh that this person is, is not my you color that explain but, your experience of you mm -hmm. know older people in the boss they don't want to share um, exactly yeah but some of the young ones too, uh, I would say they are yeah, naive and ignorant. <laughs> so, I. <laughs> but most of the young ones they are really nice. They are nice, and most of the young ones speak English because they are being taught English in schools now. Yeah, in schools now. Yeah. yeah. So, so what about the old ones that speak? Yeah, in the marketplace. Of course, I understand that there will be like the older uh, generation in the market. Mm -hmm. so it's 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 a struggle, right? To, to in the market. Yeah. The market, I would not say that it's so much of a struggle if you know mm. what you want to buy because you're not going to talk to someone. So, mm -hmm. person, give me pepper, give me rice, give me this, you know, just going to go and pick the things that you want. Yeah. So, it's not so difficult. Yeah. And if you don't want to talk to anybody, you can go for the, can, can go for the self checkout, okay. you know. Okay. Yeah. So, if you don't want to talk to anybody, but you don't even need to talk to them, all you need to do. It's just keep your thing and they check it and they give and when they tell you how much if, they, if you don't know how much it's written there so they just it's point it to you see. <laughs> <laughs> so they just say see it there you will not count your money and give them so you yeah. don't need to do a lot of talking because of yeah. we are we are developed now so yeah, yeah, yeah. i would say it's not that difficult but one thing that'll be difficult is trying to recognize some of the food because mm. it's written in romania yeah yeah so but okay. it's not bad because in every store you must see people most of their some of their workers at least one or two speak english yeah and or french too of, of french yes really yeah some of them speak french because when they see black people they in yeah, their head they know it's either french or english or english okay so on the streets people tend to because when i was in europe like i can't count how many pictures i've taken i don't even know where my pictures are going to like the people ask you for pictures like you know as the black they are not just used to seeing black people so some of them have seen like they are seeing a black person for the first time so they want to you know show yeah. you know, to their friends exactly i get some of that too people want to just come and take pictures with me but i decline yeah. i'm not going to lie i decline unless you're my friend okay. or a colleague you know i don't mind yeah. maybe a class my classmates i don't mind just walking on the streets i mm. don't appreciate that mm. I, or, but if you approach nicely i don't mind i would mm. but i know i've had people that approach nicely and i said okay it's fine let's take a picture together and i've only been doing a video of a youtube video one time mm. and someone just came and they just came and bombed the picture <laughs> you know <laughs> i'm like what Some you to pictures without consent like they're they not going to <laughs> they're not going to look like they just snap you <sighs> You know, so it's, that's it. It's crazy. Yeah. So can you tell me the 
challenges black people face the primary challenge let's if 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 you're asked tell me two things that you guys struggle with as as people of color in in, in Romania. okay i would say one thing we struggle at um as black people here or uh, people not even black people international students it's yeah. not this is not about black people for international yeah. students is the fact that most time because people that study in romania have an edge over us because they study in their language and things are explained very well they have yeah. opportunities to go for workshops and the rest of them because most of them are being done in romania and okay. we we are english speakers so we don't understand yeah. as another yeah. thing that we also face and that one is a language barrier because a lot of places that you need to, that you go to and they don't speak english mm. you don't speak english and you cannot do anything about it and some yeah. of them they don't even want to even do google translate because they are rude they don't have time for okay. you yeah, yeah. yeah so it, it's, it's difficult they believe learn our language it's our way or the highway they don't care about yeah it. but yeah. i would say they are being they are nicer now because mm. even if you go to the hospitals there is one person that speaks english at least one person and they'll yeah. put the person on call okay. and the person would come and help you too yeah. so I would, I would just say it's the language and we also miss out of some information because we are not informed yeah, yeah. apart from that yeah what about trying to get things done for example looking for apartments you know do you guys get ripped off in terms of let's say it should be 300 euros mm -hmm. because you are black or because you are a foreigner they raise the fee to like 500 euros you guys have such experience right? i think that doesn't happen here because we have a site where people go to look for houses and they already put the price on the site so all you need to do is just contact the person and you can even buy again depending if the person wants you know but the thing is that some people don't like foreigners in their house yeah and so Romanian, so you know, you very very romanian or european over nigerian or indian yes some mm -hmm. some some because the international students they, they feel they have money so some of them want them <laughs> okay yeah. yeah some of them want them but some just like they don't want the drama of coming to be speaking yeah. english because they can't speak english yeah yeah and there's this kind of um assumption that foreigners are very um, very careless with their property you know they can mm -hmm. destroy property. it happens too that's why they like the sign a contract and they do a guarantee you have to pay like one month up front deposit, in case right? anything in case damaged of... you know yeah so they get to that yeah so what's your advice for or to anyone coming to romania from africa from you know any person of color I would say if you're a person of color coming to Romania, please just buy enough food stuff as you're coming because I know African <laughs> restaurants, <laughs> African shops Actually. in Romania. <laughs> there is, but you, you don't even get the best. You, yeah. you couldn't get the best compared to like um Germany, UK and US and the rest of them, you know. You don't yeah. get the best. So just come as just come with as much things as possible. And you should mm -hmm. just relax. I feel like for me. Not even for me. The standard of living here is actually very good compared to other country. Maybe some someone coming from Africa, it might be high. But believe me, when you travel to other countries, you appreciate Romania. Yeah. Okay, okay. And they should also um, have it at the back of their mind that hey, you are black. Like remind yes. yourself, you are black. You are not. You are not in Nigeria. You are not in Ghana. So mm -hmm. going to experience certain <clears throat> certain weird behavior from from uh, Europeans out there. So guys, just don't mind just don't mm -hmm. mind about it just yeah. just for me i don't care about all these things it doesn't even i don't even notice it anymore mm. i don't even You're notice it maybe it's just me because yeah, i don't care mm. all right guys um please if you have any question comment below click the like button subscribe to dima's world and also subscribe to my channel and again we we'll see you guys again next time peace okay bye